Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday to you. It is Monday AM Musings with Peg City Lovely, aka Natalie Bell. And I hope you all had a fabulous week slash weekend. I know I did. Very busy as always. Non-stop stuff happening. And uh, before we get into the fun stuff of our chat today, I kind of want to talk about something that's maybe not too popular. And you know me, I'm, uh, I'm the type of person who likes to take some risks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this because it hit home for me on the weekend and it, it really kind of bothered me, actually. So when I think about the online realm and the online world, it's, it's important to have etiquette, I think. It's also important to take responsibilities for the comments and actions you take online. You know, the internet is a vast world of personalities, content, you name it. And so each of us have our own, you know, part to play in how the internet and how the online world results in a positive way and not always negative. Now, it's not to say you can't speak your mind. Of course, speak your mind. But if you're going to speak your mind and call people out or make, you know, snide remarks, catty comments, those kind of things, be prepared to back it up and be prepared to engage in conversation. And um, it's really important that people realize there's no real authority on the internet. As far as I know, unless someone wants to tell me that they run the internet and I report to them, it's important to note that it's all of us making it what it is. I have a real issue when things are generalized or people make comments and think that no one's going to respond because perhaps they're extremely successful in their own right or popular in their own right. Um, but you know what? I'm successful in my own right. I'm popular in my own right. I say what I need to say when I need to say it. And if I want to engage in a healthy conversation, and it's not always to say I will agree with someone's opinion, but I will engage in that conversation in a healthy way so that we can talk about the particular topic and not just, like I said, call people out or, you know, throw shade as they say. <laughs> um, it's really important to notice to note that because you know we're all we're all in this together we all have come to where we are in a variety of ways using a variety of tools and resources and it's not to say that the way that I did it is the only way to do it it's not to say that someone else uh, is successful and popular in their own way and because of what they did their their methods are the best way it doesn't mean that we all have our own individual personalities online we all have our own results and success factors that we have and what might be successful to you is not successful to me but at least let's engage in healthy conversation to talk about that um you know it just really you know i guess it bothered me that uh some there were some comments made online this weekend and i just felt the need to to speak up about it because just because someone is doing something you don't like does not mean that you can generalize a whole group of people and 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 seem as if the only way that's right is the way that you're doing it. So anyways, I'm sure there's a few people who will take note of this and go searching to see what happened and drama this, drama that. It's not about drama. It's about the fact that as much as I love to talk about positive and optimism type type items, it's important to, to engage in that type of conversation as well. No negativity, no no hatred, no, you know, haterade, none of that. I just uh, wanted to kind of speak my mind on the topic and those who around me know that that's exactly what I do. All right, so enough about that, enough about that. How was your weekend? Last week, I participated in week one of the Subway Commit to Fit Challenge with Carl's Crew, and it was the water challenge last week. I think I did really well because, you know what, I really put my mind to it and ensured that I always had water on hand. I had a water bottle literally attached to my hip, so I know that I've increased my water intake. Now it's the point of maintaining it and being consistent with it. So this week's challenge is fruits and vegetables. 
So if you've uh, seen this morning, I've already tweeted my Instagram pic about my fruits and veggies. And the, as a busy mom and someone who works full time, I it's important to get those fruits and veggies in wherever I can. So I make sure I buy the pre-packaged, you know, the pre-cut uh, veggies and fruits so that I can bring them to work and have them in the car. So that's a great tip for me. And I'll be asking you guys for tips too, because of course, I'll be giving away another $25 Subway Canada a gift card. So what else? Something really awesome happened last week. I was nominated for a, uh, a contest, I guess, or um, it's it's with CBC Manitoba, and it's called the Future 40 Under 40. So I snuck right in there because, <laughs> you know, I'm turning 40 this year, folks. And uh, I was nominated under business and entrepreneurship as someone who is, uh, you know, uh, someone to watch, I guess. And there's quite a few people that were nominated and I think almost 200 people and they're picking the finalists this week. You know, regardless if I'm chosen as a finalist or not, just to be nominated and have that recognition and acknowledgement is awesome. And I'm super happy about that. So very, very, very cool stuff going on. Thank you to CBC Manitoba for putting that on. So there's some ongoing giveaways. There's the Lay's Do Us a Flavor Canada. I have a prize pack on the blog. And also, please go ahead and submit those flavors. Find out if your flavor is going to be the next Lay's potato chip. And of course, this year they want to have regions. So Eastern Canada, Ontario, and Western Canada. Get on out there and submit flavors for the next Lay's potato chips. Also have uh, an ongoing giveaway with Church and Dwight. And those are products in relation to your health and wellness. And also, let's not forget about Peg City Snap. That's my personal photo contest that I put up for everyone, uh, for Winnipeg anyways. And so I've seen almost, I, I think there's about 200 pictures so far that uh, folks have taken in and around Winnipeg that are just gorgeous. And again, it doesn't have to be architecture. It could just be you sitting in the library. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't have to be anything crazy spectacular, but some of the pics are so wonderful and I'm so proud to, uh, to represent Winnipeg in that way because uh, we've got some great pictures. So please check out my Facebook page and you'll see a tab that says Peg City Snap Photo Contest and vote, 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 vote. Um, the, the highest uh, voted pitcher will win a London Drugs gift card, but there's also the prize pack for anyone who's eligible who has entered to win a $200 prize pack from London Drugs and myself, Peg City Lovely. So get on it, people. So upcoming giveaways, of course, like I just mentioned, the Subway Canada $25 gift card for the Commit to Fit Challenge with uh, myself as part of Carl's crew. There's also going to be the Kellogg's Try It Hot Mini Wheats giveaway coming up. Cute little prize pack for that. And there's something called the Spartan Race. I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but it's like uh, no different than uh, much of those other type of obstacle course type races. And it's finally coming to Manitoba this summer. And so I will be having a giveaway to uh, attend the Spartan Race in Manitoba. I'm pretty excited for that. So with that, I have an interview with Terrence. Terrence is someone who's participated in the Spartan race and has a, an inspirational story. So I'll be interviewing him in the next couple weeks. What else? I'll be uh, interviewing Patrice Washington. Now, she is a best-selling author and a personal finance columnist. And she is fabulous. She's going to give some awesome tax tips and uh, what to do with your refund this year and all that kind of fun stuff. Typically for Americans. However... That doesn't matter. A lot of things that I talk about are transferable no matter what country you live in. So be sure to check that out. Um, what else? I'm talking your ear off again this morning, right? But this is how we do. This is how we do. So I have dental work coming up this week. I don't know if anyone's ever had a tooth removed, but this beautiful crown right here is broken and they have to extract my tooth. So I'm freaking out a little bit because I've never had to remove my, my tooth before. But my dentist, Dr. Minook at Polo Park Dental is 
hilarious for one and he's fabulous because he always calls me kiddo even though I'm 40 years old and, <laughs> and I know he'll take good care of me I'm just still kind of freaking out because I've never had that happen so if anyone has any tips or wants to share uh, and reduce my fear and anxiety please do so leave me a comment call me message me text me I don't care <laughs> I need help with that. It's tomorrow afternoon. Um, what else is coming up? Spring break for here in Winnipeg is coming up in the next couple of weeks. Lots of activities I posted on the blog as well. Tons of stuff that I probably don't even know about. So if you do know some of uh, the activities and events that are happening in Winnipeg that I forgot to list, please do so and list it so that uh, other readers can, can check it out. What else? Oh my gosh. So much going on. Um, this weekend, I'll be singing at the Afro-Caribbean Association of Manitoba for their Harambee event. And I'm excited because I haven't uh, done any public singing for a while. And yes, I sing. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be my sister and my dad and I. We're going to sing a couple of songs for their event. And then um, Thermia. Oh my God, Thermia, Winnipeg. I'm coming for you, Thermia, this weekend. This is it. Finally making it happen. There's a about three or four couples coming on on Sunday we're coming we're gonna have fun we're gonna relax we're gonna enjoy Thermia I cannot wait and um, yeah I think that's enough uh, I'm almost at work so I, I appreciate everyone listening to me ramble in the morning I'm uh, I'm excited to share with you guys I love doing what I do and I hope you love it too so that's all that matters to me all right so weekly quotes and I think yet another fitting quote about people and leadership and attitudes and this quote is by one of my favorite uh, favorite folks and John C Maxwell 360 degree leader I've, I've read that book numerous times that that really uh, plays a part in who I am in my outlook and career today so his quote states people may hear your words but they feel your attitude, right? Oh, that one's a short, quick quote, but it's so true. People may hear your words, but they feel your attitude. That goes for in-person, online, offline. And you know, the greatest day is when we take responsibility for that attitude. And uh, when we do that, we truly grow up. So think about that. John C. Maxwell is a smart man. All right, so have a fabulous week, guys. I will talk to you next week. And, of course, stay tuned. This is Natalie. This is how we do. Bye.